What's up, everybody? Welcome to the pull up experience. Pull up. Hey, we missed y'all. We had a couple days off, but we got something real special for y'all today. We got Miss Mikey from Pamper Kitty Wax and formerly Pretty Kitty Waxing. Excited about having her today. Um, she keeps us beautiful in every way, keeps us ladies feeling confident about down there. <laughs> She's a special young lady. Go ahead, Mikey, introduce yourself to the people. Let them know who you are. Um, hello, I am Mikey, owner of Pepper Kitty Waxing. And, um, yep, that's it. <laughs> she does. She's she modest, does it. So, yes, yeah, she's <laughs> modest and she does it so well. I'm telling y'all. I'm sure the ladies of the city know already because. Once she opens her books, they are she's booked up within about five minutes. While you're trying to get your appointment, it's like taken, taken, taken. <laughs> she is in high demand for the city because she does what she does. She does it very well. She has pretty much mastered, Thank Thank mastered you. her talent for sure. Thank you. So I mentioned that you were formerly pretty mm -hmm. kitty waxing. Mm -hmm. First, I want you to talk about yourself and how you got started, and then how that came about. Um, so I got started, um, okay, so long story short, I used to be an entertainer downtown. I was a stripper at Christie's. Nice. And, um, <laughs> and I was um, also working at European Wax Center, and I was tired of dancing, mm -hmm. and just pretty much, honestly, was just crying on my way to work. I had been dancing for years, mm -hmm. and it got to the point where I was just like, God, I don't want to do this anymore. You have to give me something else. And I had been working at European Wax Center for maybe about two years. Mm -hmm. And um, the manager there hated my guts. At European Wax Center? She hated me. And she found out I was doing eyelash extensions at a shop. And she pretended to be a client. Mm -hmm. And she called up there pretending that she wanted to get a wax. Mm -hmm. And the young lady who worked there at the time said, oh, well, we have someone who waxes. But I never waxed there. It was literally eyelash extension. Mm -hmm. She was just trying to put me on, you know, to build business. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She fired me. She called me up on the phone and she fired me over the phone. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, that's how that happened. Sometimes uh, it's, it's it's usually when your back's against the wall that you, mm -hmm. that you blossom yeah. and that you, you know, we all have to go through trials and tribulations, um, unfortunately, um, in order to grow. Um, so that was it. Like, I look at situations like that. I've been in a couple of them. I look at situations, yeah. similar situations. Mm -hmm. I look at situations like that where it's, it's what you needed to jump out. Mm -hmm. And I look did. at you now. I did. And look at you now. I did. Waxing all over the place. You <laughs> keep me looking good. <laughs> so, so talk about that. Let's talk about that. So talk about, talk about the progression because you went from getting fired over the phone to now you taking over the city pretty much. You know? Oh, wow. Well, taking over the city. Hey, listen. I, listen, hey, listen. listen. <laughs> I, I testify. You testify. Oh, wow. talking about. So, so basically, <laughs> tell me the steps that took for you to get to where you are now. Um, the steps it took. Um, wait, I have a question right between that. Did yeah, you okay. start waxing um, the ladies at the club? Did you start off waxing them? No. So I know they would need it. You know what I'm saying? That's something they would need. I got to the point with the club. I just literally quit. Okay. I hated it so much and I was so over it. I just wanted something new. Mm -hmm. um, so when she fired me, it was two weeks prior to Christmas. <laughs> oh, yeah. And so when January yeah. hit, I took my first client. Um, it was actually two friends and they were getting ready to go on vacation and it was a buy one, get one free. <laughs> we do what we gotta do. Right, so it was a buy one, get one free. <laughs> yeah, so. So, okay, so. With that being said, so let me ask you that. So I know for me, I don't even get there. It's like the next person or whatnot. Mm -hmm. When you say that you build your business on promotion of value or just on great customer service? Um, so in our community, so many black women are not given the opportunity and nor do I feel like we're being raised mm -hmm. to know certain things as far as beauty. And then mm -hmm. when we do know the, about them, it's almost as if people keep them out of reach for us. Mm. And so when I started my business, my goal was to make sure that I could make black women feel beautiful. Mm. That was my goal. So I always um, try to keep my prices very 
pocket friendly, yeah. um, regardless of what everybody else may have been charging. Mm. And um, I feel like customer service is really big. Like I always try to make my customers feel like they are literally the only person in the world. Mm. Like they're my only client that I'll ever have. I try to make them feel that way. That's good. So. Definitely comes across that way. Definitely. Thank you. Since so it's the Nino Brown approach, you know what I'm saying, under the competition by, you know, going low. Okay, <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. I, you know what? I don't cut the competition. I, I, um, I, I try not to cut the competition. I just felt like... As black women, many black women are single. Mm -hmm. They have two, three kids. Mm -hmm. um, and, and to charge someone $85, $95 for a wax, I just, mm -hmm. I don't feel like that's okay to do. Mm -hmm. But that's me, you know, mm -hmm. and I try, like I said, I, I feel like there's certain things that were kept out of reach for us as far as beauty. Mm -hmm. And I just, my biggest thing is like, I don't want women to feel uncomfortable. Like mm -hmm. there's so many women, like aside from just the Brazilian, they grow facial hair, you know, mm -hmm. and they grow hair on their chest. Mm -hmm. And that could be hard for a woman to deal yeah. with, you know, a lot of insecurity. And so I just never want women, but especially my sisters, to feel like, mm -hmm. dang, I got to walk around looking like this for the rest of my life, yeah. and, you know, mm -hmm. so. Well, shout out to you, because I didn't think about that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm thinking <laughs> about it from a, I guess, a vain type of way, but you actually are helping women fully encompass how you want to look on the outside. So that's not Chelsea. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Like I was saying, she came highly recommended. There's a lot of, she opens her books monthly. And I'm not kidding when I say, when you try to get an appointment, she is booked. You have got to get in there. But what I do love about you as well is if you, if a person reaches out to you and you have availability, you will definitely try to fit someone in if they couldn't get in. Mm -hmm. You'll try. People that are consistent. Mm -hmm. People mm -hmm. that are consistent. Um, and what I love most about about what you do is, you know, when you think of wax, you know, you got that rip off, you got that rip off, and, and a lot of people just can't, they're like, no, I'm not going to be able to do that. <laughs> That's, that waxing is out, especially down there, because it's sensitive. Mm -hmm. But what I like about you is that you're very fast, you're very efficient, and when you go on a consistent basis, you don't have as much hair anymore. Mm -hmm. And when it grows back, it grows back so fine. It's like, oh, shh. <laughs> <laughs> Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Um, and no shade to anybody else, but I've had a wax before um, where, um, and I was talking to you about this. I think, I definitely think it's technique. Mm -hmm. um, even myself, I had a stint where I wanted to do eyelash extensions. I got certified years ago, before it became popular. Mm -hmm. Years ago, set everything up, had my basement mm -hmm. together or whatever. And I started on myself, of course. And my my brows were fantastic. Mm -hmm. My lashes were fantastic. But when I, because I, I added waxing. But when I would wax, I had all kind of bruises and scars because of too 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 much too much mm -hmm. and that's what i like about you you get it all the way clean um you don't have any scars or burns or um blackheads from mm -hmm. razor bumps i mean bumps from getting waxed it's just really clean and it, it looks professional and it lasts a long time thank mm -hmm. you so thank you what do you think the difference is because i actually just got my brows waxed mm -hmm. the other couple weeks ago and it was a burn Mm -hmm. And it's not my skin because I go to you and I and I've had what been waxed before my brows. I had a burn. So, do what do you think prevents people from, you know, burning? Do you think it's the products or do you think it's the actual talent? Um, I think it could be a little bit of both. Um, when you got your eyebrows done, did she lay the wax on and then put a piece of cloth on there? Yes. In my opinion, I feel like that causes burns. I feel like it, it's not even a burn. It's more so I feel like it takes off a layer of your skin. Yes. Mm -hmm. I hate that. It's still of right there. You see it? You see it? It's a little darker right there. Yep, mm -hmm. I do. Mm -hmm. I, um, so when I first started in aesthetic school, I had to wax this girl mm -hmm. and she was like Arabic and she was kind of hairy. Mm -hmm. And I waxed her arm and when, <laughs> when I got done, it looked like I gave her a third degree burn. Mm -hmm. It looked so horrible. And I just was like, I'm never waxing. And the teachers would be like, you have to wax. No, I don't. And I'm not going to. This, mm -hmm. I'm, I don't have to. You know, if I don't want to, because mm -hmm. um, I was, she was ready to cry. So was I, because I, I couldn't believe that this happened to her. Mm -hmm. um, 
So yeah, my worst fear ended up becoming my business. And I honestly feel like the paper cloth that they use, I feel like pulls off skin. Yeah. And I don't buy cheap wax for my girls either. So that's a part of the reason why you guys can come back every month and a half to two months to get I don't I don't yes. buy cheap with my girls. It's so it's it's there. It's, yeah. it's I look I've everybody I know goes to Mike. Oh, everybody I know goes to Mike. You. And everybody is satisfied, <laughs> like Oh yeah, I gotta go see Mikey this week. I'm like, you got your mortgage, you better get it, cause I got mine. Thank you. About, you, you dropped the whole bomb just now, you know what I'm saying? I don't want y'all to over just see what she just said. Cause she just said a whole thing. She said her worst fear became a business. And I think we entrepreneurs, we kind of lose sight of the things that we find difficult. And in difficulty, we create a whole business behind it. So real quick, for people, now waxers, you know what I'm saying? Anybody who in the industry, how did you overcome that fear? Because now you have a whole business around it. So how did you overcome that and then perfect it at the same time? Oh, wow. Um, That's a hard question today. Yeah, it was a little <laughs> bit hard. Perfect. <laughs> um, okay, so um, how did I overcome it? Um, I think I just got tired. Mm -hmm. um, and I was working at... Um, like a, I was doing facials mm -hmm. and I was also working at another store where it was like a pregnancy store mm -hmm. and this girl came in she said I just got fired from European Wax Center and I said really is it good money mm -hmm. she said yes yeah, good money but I can't believe they fired me I said also oh, they hiring mm -hmm. <laughs> and so <laughs> that's all I heard and so I was like that and so I um, called her up and I said hey I was interested and she pretty much just hired me over the phone mm -hmm. um, there is a lady, her, her name is like Melanie or Melody, something like that. And I had literally just listened. So I listen to a lot of podcasts. Mm -hmm. um, you do too? Awesome. And it's called the five second rule. Have you ever heard of it? No, I'm not to know. So the way it goes is that you have five seconds to do something um, and before your brain talks you out of it. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> yes. the place that I did facials and the place that I did um, at the clothing store were literally next door to each other. So I walked next door and I was like, hey, I need my license. I quit. Mm -hmm. I hadn't even had the job yet at European Wax Center. I literally was just walking on faith. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, that I just, five second rule. And then after I did it, my brain was like, what the F did you just do? <laughs> <laughs> I we love have it. a child. <laughs> I love it. So I love walking on faith. That's good right. stuff. Yeah. So we say practice made perfect, like after doing it so many times or watching someone else do it, you was like, you know what, I got it. Yeah. Um, when I first started my business, I definitely had some trial and error, mm -hmm. you know, um, just learning what type of products that I wanted to use on my clients, um, the technique. So the technique that I learned at European Wax Center is not was not correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I actually had to learn from someone else. Mm -hmm the correct technique to keep my girls from getting in hair. So mm -hmm. it was still a lot of learning involved. Um, yeah, that, that was kind of rough the first few months. <laughs> but you got, you got it down. Yeah, yeah, you definitely have it down. You definitely yeah, have it down. Um, and I want to talk about that because um, uh, we went, I feel like it was a trend that went from hair to no hair. And do you feel like you felt that trend? Do you feel like all of a sudden you got just bombarded with more customers? Or do you feel like it's pretty much been the same since you've grown and had your own and been on your own? Explain it again. <laughs> so I, I feel like it was a, tr I feel like it was kind of trendy, like where, and I don't know if it was a, a black thing. Okay. Necessarily. I felt like there was a shift, a trend from where it was okay to have hair and then it was oh. like no we no more hair so do you feel like you felt that trend do you feel like it got busier um at one point not COVID mm -hmm. but do you feel like it just got busier like okay more women are getting into hairless um I feel like oh that's a rough question um I feel like I just kind I, I feel like God just opened the door for me at the right time to be honest with mm -hmm. you okay because I don't think that anyone in Cleveland was really waxing that much. Mm -hmm. And originally I had asked another young lady to join me because I was scared. I was like, don't you want to start this business with me? Right. And she was like, no. <laughs> and she, I know. And I was I like, okay. So. <laughs> um, and so I, I just kind of started it. And um, it just kind of grew. The first year was really rough. It was rough. Like I contemplated on getting a job. Mm -hmm. And my best friend said to me, um, 
why would you get a 10 hour job that doesn't make sense just keep pushing your business mm. so yeah shout out to Fran yeah yeah <laughs> shout out to Fran because she got me together <laughs> good stuff good stuff because it it, it it sounds like it's paying off but I do know that you also um are a nurse I do yeah. know that you also went to school and you also want to further your education with nursing yeah so um I feel like even though you may have a business or me personally, um, I love running my own business, but I I have a 72 year old mom, mm -hmm. and so I still have that upbringing of you better have something else. Yeah. Um, and mm -hmm. so nursing had always been a dream of mine anyway, so I just went for it during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. um, eventually, I would like to become an RN mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. hopefully do some Botox and fillers and. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's good that you mentioned that. Gotta rub yeah. my thighs when I say that. That's like one of my lines on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, seriously, it's it's good that you mentioned that because I am definitely noticing that um, more and more Black women are getting into um, cosmetic, not not so so much as surgery, but cosmetic techniques. I guess you would mm -hmm. say, um, and because I think it's. I don't want to say taboo for us, but you know black don't crack. We, we all know that, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so I'm not going to say that it's taboo for us, but I don't think a lot of us ever felt the need so much mm -hmm. to invest into, um, you know, Botox or fillers or, you know, things like that. Lifts. <laughs> um, so it's good that you're getting into that. I noticed that there are more black women getting into that, and I, I I love it because I feel like, you know, not that you're unhappy with yourself because everything that you do is beautifying us so far. Um, but not that you're unhappy with yourself, but it's okay to want to pick up a little something. It's okay to want to yeah. fill in a little something. And I think we need to educate black women more to let them know that hey. It's, okay. it's it's all about you and how you want to look and how you want to you know look and feel about yourself. It's all good, so I'm all for that. I, I'll be a customer. Hey. I'll be a customer. <laughs> that sounds good. <laughs> so I got a question for all the fellas because you know what I'm saying I represent the fellas on the show. Okay. Know? And we're hoochie daddy season. You know what I'm saying with the short shorts. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. And for me waxing for a guy, I feel like you know what I'm saying for a year old version. Okay, when they took the uh, little strip again, educate me as a man. How does that how does that process usually go? Do you mind? get men customers? I do. Okay. I do. Um, I have quite a few men. Um, oh. A few of them come with their wives or girlfriends. Okay. Um, so that's always fun because you know every guy's dream is a threesome, and you know you go. That, that's his idea working. of a threesome. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> so yeah, it's always fun um, for men. To be honest with you, they do more screaming than my girls do. I believe it. I probably yeah. would scream. They scream. I, I, I probably would, like, <laughs> yeah. would go yeah. It's a nice little holla. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, I mean, because, like, cause, like, for me, I'm not hairy here, you know what I'm saying? I do all right, you know what I'm saying? But if I want to get a wax, like, what should I do with a pair? Should I, like... Um, no, 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 yeah, don't do that, no moisturizing. <laughs> you really just want to exfoliate. Um, okay. Make sure that you avoid any moisturizing products, and okay. that includes like oils, even numbing creams. Like mm. some people are so scared and nervous to try waxing that they will get numbing cream. Mm -hmm. Numbing cream doesn't numb anything except for my wax because I won't be able to Whoa. lay it on the skin smoothly and yeah. pull hair up. I'm just wasting wax. So oh, it's wow. best to just take an ibuprofen 45 minutes before your appointment. Make sure you avoid wine, although this is really good. But <laughs> make sure you avoid liquor um, for at least 24 hours prior to your appointment. Mm -hmm. um, and make sure you wear comfortable clothes and you know, just be comfortable. Okay. Yeah. All right. And how long does the wax you take? I mean, I know it all varies towards the person, but a typical wax takes like... I, and you know what? I remember your moniker back in the day, you know what I'm saying? You the fastest in the city, you know what I'm saying? I remember that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so Like, literally. <laughs> <laughs> so, man, I'm like, damn, where my hair goes, gone. Yes. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. And she is, and she's talking to you to kind of throw you off so you're not concentrating on the pull. Yeah. And it, it's, it's literally, it's, the pull is so fast, though. Yeah. It's so fast that it's like... You setting yourself up, but then it's like, oh, okay, you okay, done? okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's you're already done. Like, like getting a shot. It's not like, yeah, exactly, 
Okay. Yeah. And it's all clean and gleaming. <laughs> okay, let's, let's talk about that. Like, okay, so we know the pandemic made it so you all were more conscious of, um, you know, not saying germs per se, but just being more, um, more clean with our spaces and our tools and whatnot. What all goes into being the wax versus uh, what they call it? What's, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not familiar with what's the other process, like a face or something like that. What is the difference in uh, we were just talking about this. You were telling me about. I had told you about the situation that you said. Go ahead. Ask me. No. So um. So what? So what? What are what are hygienic processes go into wax that I'm not familiar with? Um. Okay. I'm going to be really honest with you. Mm -hmm. I don't care if you just left the gym. I don't care if you. I don't know. Just got done leaving work. Mm -hmm. My biggest thing is I just. Want your butthole clean? Well, I got you. Like that's my biggest hygiene. Yeah, no, I believe it. I believe it. I see <laughs> little that. shitty, you better have <laughs> clean that up, little yes. shitty. Hey, I'm gonna ask about that. You know what I'm saying? Glad you, we, we can be free on the yeah. show. You know what I'm saying? And I want to get some. We don't gotta get to the worst part. But what are like some of the, the biggest no nos you that have occurred or have happened while waxing? <laughs> biggest no no. Mm -hmm. Um, I had a client. <laughs> this is disgusting. I had a client. Um, she was visiting um, a friend up here, mm -hmm. and I can't. of course, her friend brought her in. I can't. And <laughs> we're having story. a full conversation. I'm waxing her. And right. It's a day like today, so it was like 90 Not, degrees. 90 degrees. Okay. This is a grown woman. Oh man. Okay. She gets on my bed, and like I said, we're talking and we're waxing. I said, okay, put your legs up. The conversation immediately stopped. Whoa! It was like a like you know how the records. Man, <laughs> and I at that time I wish COVID was going on because I could have had a mask on. Oh, it was wow. so bad. I was like, wow. you've got to be kidding me. And um, she was married, and I honestly thought to myself, he's cheating. There's no way in the world he's with you, and and this is what you take home to him. <laughs> my thing is, you knew that though. That's that's my thing. That's why I'm over here with this face. Because you knew that. That's great. You yeah. knew that. That's what did you think it was going to disappear? My question is, how were you not itchy? Mm -hmm. And it's 90 degrees. Mm -hmm. So after that, I started carrying wipes in the shop. Mm -hmm. um, Let's yeah. learn. Let's yeah. learn. Okay. No, but like no. I said, I, I don't have too many funky monkeys that come in. Most of my girls are really good. <laughs> Most of my girls are really good. Like, I, my, my girls are very pampered. They're That's good. good. They're good. Yeah. And then it's not it's not it's it's one time use. Everything that she's doing mm -hmm. it's one time use. Okay. So once she sh sh that's it. Oh, that okay. goes in the trash. Okay. Yeah. So it's it's one time use so she doesn't have to worry about, you know, you. anything being contaminated or mm -hmm. anything like that. You know what I'm Getting that butterfly. <laughs> Getting that butterfly. <laughs> I don't know what's butterfly. I don't know what. Just the way you lay on the bed. Oh, okay. Listen, yeah. I, I, I'm not familiar. You know? Okay. <laughs> you know, like, like I said, who's your day? The season is in. You know what I'm saying? I might want to get my, you know what I'm saying? She's going to show up my leg one time. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, okay. I, I saw okay. that today. The Hoochie Daddy shorts. Yeah, are, are, you, getting, are you getting more guys trying to get, trying to get a uh, waxer uh, for the Hoochie Daddy season? I don't know. Give influx of customers. I, I don't know. Experience. Fellas, come see her. You know yes, come see me. Come I, see I do her. have quite a few guys, mm -hmm. but you know, men, so, like so I said, men are nervous. Men are more nervous than my ladies. So. Would you, um, okay, so say you had a customer come in and they, they're getting everything waxed and you see like they have facial hair. Would you ever be like, you know, I, I can wax that too. I do. You would suggest. Yeah, yeah I, would suggest I would just say too, like, you so know it has to bother me. Are we going to wax your chin? You know, I try to do it in a nice way. I was about to say, how do you do it in a nice way? Yeah, I, I try to do it in a nice way without offending anybody. I probably have, you know, I have a few girls that just are kind of there's, there's, they have this stigma in their head that if they do take the hair off, it's going to grow back thicker. Mm. And that's not the case. Mm. Not if it's done correctly. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's, I don't know. Yeah. Well, listen, I'm learning today. I'm learning a lot today. Okay, <laughs> so we'll get some mechanics of all right? So let's say there's somebody watching right now, so young lady, she's in hair school now. She's like, I want to be a waxer. I want to be just like you might be whatnot. Like Mike? Yeah. What what steps would you give her today to get to to become the almost as good as you can be, Michael Jordan, a waxer or whatnot? Oh wow, Michael Jordan. That's right. Um, 
honestly, I think that you just have to find your niche. I think that um, a lot of people go into aesthetics. Like, mm -hmm. there's aesthetics is kind of like nursing. There's so many different, different avenues. Yeah, like mm -hmm. you could do facials, you could do lashes, you know, um, you do waxing. Um, me personally, I think that it's good to just find something you're good at and become excellent at it. Mm -hmm. um, I, there's a young lady, her name is Glam by Angel. Um, shout out to you, Angel. And she's amazing. She mm -hmm. only does facials. She will not wax you. Mm -hmm. However, she can. She's licensed to. And it's the same way with me. I'm licensed to do facials, but I'm not rubbing on nobody's face. I'm good. That's mm -hmm. not my area. Y'all exchange customers. Do you say, hey, I got somebody to I send it? people to her. Yep, I do. I do. I send okay. people to her. She's amazing. Um, and I think that that's the biggest thing. Just make sure that you like whatever it is you do mm -hmm. and that you are okay with giving a spirit of excellence. If you don't mm -hmm. want to give spirit of excellence, and that's not just in yes. aesthetics, yeah. but that's in anything that you do. Mm -hmm. You know, just make sure that um, you're you're doing what you're supposed to do and you're not going into it for money. I think a lot of people mm -hmm. are like, oh, this is a quick dollar. But in the process of making a quick dollar, mm -hmm. did you just mess somebody's skin up? Did you mm -hmm. just burn somebody? You know, and now they're looking at you like, oh my gosh, I hate your guts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So... I remember it was like a, a real like season where everybody was out here waxing, but you know what I'm saying? They, they all fell off or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I, I'm looking like, hey, she waxing? She had work? It's like, like everybody doing eyebrows, but you know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. they all fade off, and you know what I'm saying? The ones who do it for real, they they, they stay they, they still doing it to the day. So shout out to you or whatnot. Hey, thank you. Okay, so I'll bet. No, no, no. Okay, so okay. So, no, like, I like to give them the cancer one. So let me ask you this. Um, I like I like the numbers. Let's talk about the numbers real quick. So with a typical waxing, um, I know you say you, you, you brace your price the right, which I think is smart. It's based around the fact that you don't make it too overpriced so we can afford it. That's very much appreciated, by the way. No, thank shout you. out to you for that. Thank one, you, huh? thank you. So the per so uh, I got access. Um, so for the person starting out, what do you, how how much do you recommend them to save for material, save for? Because you got, I'm guessing just like a uh, uh, barber or a beautician, they have to have a, a spot to do that, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so so they need to save, it, I'm guessing for proof, right? You save it for material. What do you recommend they start off with to save before they're going to start out with black, out of the style of black? Um, I think that in any type of business, especially when it comes to customer service, mm -hmm. um, you should deal with customers first. Mm -hmm. um, and you can't just. In my opinion, I don't feel like you could just open up a shop and say, hey, I'm here, you guys. Mm -hmm. I think that it's best to work under somebody for a while. Mm -hmm. And then that way you can kind of get a good idea of dealing with the hard customers, the mm -hmm. rude customers. Um, you know, just the great customers, but you might have a bad run-in or miscommunication. Mm -hmm. Because you have to know how to respond to those type of people. Because once you do open up your own business, you don't want to lose clients. Right. because. There's a lot of people out here that are talented, but they can't keep the people that come to them because they're so rude. Mm -hmm. And so I Very think that that's the biggest thing. Like, don't be in such a rush to hurry up and open up your own. Mm -hmm. It's okay to work under somebody, and it's okay to have mm -hmm. a mentor, and it's okay to take your time. And when it's time for you to say, okay, I'm ready to expand my wings and do this on my own, mm -hmm. you'll know. But you'll also know, hey, you know what? This is too much headache. Mm. It's too much taxes. It's too much paperwork. I don't want to go and pick up supplies. I don't want to have to order stuff because you know when you first start a business, you wear all the hats. Mm. And even myself, like there's times where I may forget that I had a client that day. I don't have anyone to back me up. So now I gotta. Hey, I'm so sorry. I'm about to discount your service. You yeah. know because there's, you know. So I think it's best to work under somebody for a little bit. Yeah, you have to be a student before you can be a teacher. Yeah. Okay, so what, okay, so I love how you help you help me set with the next question or not because I want to know like what are some of the things what are some of the things that people don't know about waxing that like you said you got to wear many hats. I didn't know you had to order material. I didn't know you had okay. to you had a, a person to wear many hats. What are some of the things that people don't know about your business as a whole? Um, just you want to make sure that you have a good CPA. Um, mm -hmm. Someone who does taxes. You want to make sure that if this is something that you 
really do want to do and it's not a hobby but it is mm. a business trademark your name mm. trademarking is so important mm. um i think that that's definitely it's number one mm. yeah. <laughs> trademarking is so big so when i first started my business i couldn't think of a name and so i just was like okay pretty kitty waxing Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, let me hurry up and save it before someone else gets it. Yeah. There's a young lady in Vegas, and she has three or four of them. Mm -hmm. So even though you may have something LLC, if it's not trademark, that means absolutely nothing. Right. Time, 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 right. time, 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 time. I, I heard the hood ways of doing it. My, my mom told me as a kid, if you mail it to yourself, it's quote unquote trademark or whatnot. So let's say, this is if I say butterfly waxing or whatnot and I met it to myself and I put the date on there like technically that's me trading or whatnot. I'm guessing that's not, that's not no me. okay no I'm sorry mom that wasn't really <laughs> maybe back in that's the day copyright. it was that's copyright okay. that's copyright, copyright. Mm -hmm. not trademark mm -hmm. okay. that's trademark oh goodness okay. um so yeah when I found that out I said okay I gotta change my name and so um I still kept pretty kitty waxing as my Instagram handle but mm -hmm. um you want to make sure you get in contact with a lawyer. Don't mm -hmm. try to do it on your own. Mm -hmm. A lawyer will know all the steps she needs to take. And and I think that that's another thing. Like, don't be cheap when it comes to your business. Right. Mm -hmm. Like, my trademarking was a thousand dollars. That was my birthday gift to myself. Mm -hmm. And but I needed I needed my name saved. Oh, you yeah. know, Definitely. there's already a pretty kitty. So the next best thing is a pampered kitty. Yeah. Well, you know, a pretty kitty yeah. is a pampered kitty. So yeah. let me hurry up and trademark this <laughs> before somebody else gets it. Mm -hmm. And so once I got the official letter, that's when I changed my name on IG because mm -hmm. I think that um, talking too loud and talking too much can mess you up. Oh, <laughs> yes. That's a bomb. Yeah. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> that's definitely a bomb. That is definitely mm -hmm. a bomb. Dang. Yeah, so. it, it's unfortunate, but you have to watch what you tell and what you share mm. um, in business um, mm -hmm. because next thing you know, someone will be doing it, and it's like, yeah, shut the hell up already. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. Very true. Yeah. I don't know, that, was, that was worth it. <laughs> the whole episode right there. You getting another job? I hope y'all got that. <laughs> right, right, Shoot. right. Let me. I mean, we all here, you know, keep quiet. Don't talk about what you're doing until you do it. Until it yeah. happens. Until it. But sometimes you're excited. Sometimes you may want to bounce the idea off of somebody. Right, 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 right. Um, sometimes it's in the making and in the works and you're excited about it and you just like, guess what? Or, you know, sometimes you think of it and you want to do it and you, you know, you want to hear whether you think it's a good idea or not or whatever. Right. Going back to bouncing off. And you just, you just almost, you just can't. No, yeah. it's, it's best to bounce ideas off of your journey. So mm -hmm. I journal a lot, mm -hmm. and I'll write things down and maybe go back to it. But um, even with friends, you know, you'll tell a friend something, and next thing you know, they ran off with your idea, with your thoughts. And so you have to be careful with, mm -hmm. with sharing things with people because it's friends out here that we have who are genuine, and then there's other friends who you're doing good, just don't do better than me. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And if you look like you're about to do better than me, let me hurry up and snatch you up right. real quick and you know so it's unfortunate but true yeah so you got to be careful about who you tell your goals too yeah yeah that was the jewel of all jewels no, that definitely was. I, I think I, I might have made a title episode or whatnot. You know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so we, we cover a couple of things today and whatnot. So, what advice? We are we are covering like this. You are gave some great advice about somebody. Uh, what he's trying to ask you is, what are three things that? Because <laughs> we ask all of our guests this. What are three things that you feel are the most important that you would want someone to walk away with watching your interview? And it doesn't have to be about waxing. It can be anything that you talk about today, you or some, anything you that you would like today. to talk about. Um, the three biggest things. Um, if you feel like God is moving you towards a direction, it's okay to ask Him for confirmation, and it's okay to step out and say, you know what, I'm not going to be scared. I'm just going to do this because fear will keep you trapped mm. in a place that you don't want to be. And comfort is such a dangerous place. Your mm -hmm. last success will be your last success mm -hmm. if you decide to be comfortable. <laughs> Steve, where you at? Where you at, Steve? Uh, oh, man. Um, <laughs> the second thing will probably be um, don't always go for trends. Mm -hmm. Do what works for you. And, um, you know, your gifts will make room for you. You know, um, there's people out here that are making cakes. 
you know, and they're making so much money off of a damn cupcake, you know, yeah. and they're, it's they're, true. they're they're working their gift. Mm -hmm. It's stop trying to pick up other people's gift. Like your gift is wine. Mm -hmm. How dare I come in here and say, you know what, this is this is my gift now. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take your gift and I'm gonna it won't ever work. Mm -hmm. Do what God put in your heart to do and that whatever is your gift is you work that gift to make money and it's gonna help you make money. Yeah. Um even if it takes time, you know? Yeah, and um Probably the third thing would be um, be okay with cutting off anything that is a distraction. And no matter who it is or what it is, um, as you grow in life, you lose different people and that's okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay because as people go away, got to put new people in your life that are meant to be on that level with you. Mm -hmm. So every level you go, he's going to give you somebody new to help you along that journey. Mm -hmm. And it's not Absolutely. like you have to say, oh, I hate you. We're not friends anymore. It's just our season is over. Mm -hmm. And that's okay. Mm -hmm. I still love you. I'm still here for you. But cut off distractions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree with that. That's good. Right? Yes. Yes. Thanks. Yes. Well, we're so happy you came to sit with Thank us. You. I mean, I had to let the ladies see you and hear what you have to talk about. Thank you. Brandon has another I question. I got one more. I'm sorry. Yes, I yes. Okay. So, and this is the time to try it out for everybody. But I want to <laughs> know what you what your thoughts are. So, what do you want your legacy to be? Your legacy, Mike's legacy, and then after Kitty, what do you want the legacy to be? <laughs> oh, legacy. Um, mm -hmm. What do I want my legacy to be? Listen, I hate you with the hard questions, there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm like, I'm like a real dentist out here. Well, with Camper Kitty Waxing, my goal is to eventually become um, a nurse aesthetic. Mm -hmm. So, to be able to take my business to another level as mm -hmm. far as injections and IV hydration, um, and to hire for mm -hmm. Camper Kitty, mm -hmm. um, and to no longer be the head lady. I'd rather mm -hmm. step behind. I'm okay with being behind mm -hmm. the scenes. Um, so yeah, I'm okay with falling out. Okay. So. All right, so so okay, so that's part one of my question. What do you what do you think <laughs> about Mikey though? Oh, uh, Mikey? Mm hmm I wanna move. You wanna move? <laughs> I wanna move you know, the hell out of here. You wanna love Cleveland? I do. I, I love Cleveland, but it's it's time for growth. Uh -huh. Um, but it's more important that I finish my goal, which is um becoming an RN. Mm -hmm. So once because right now I'm an LPN, so once I'm okay. once I'm done bridging over into RN I'll start looking more okay. um, into opportunities, and that's most likely when I'll have Pepper Kitty and higher. Okay. So, yeah. So, we're talking about Pepper Kitty all around the nation type of work, yeah? Like, you know what I'm saying? That's wonderful. Job, if I'm able to do that, and if I'm able to hire, like I said, people with a spirit of excellence, mm -hmm. if I can't copyright myself, I mm -hmm. don't want it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't want it. I agree. Yeah, okay. if I can't make a copy carbon of me, I'm, I'm yeah. cool. <laughs> like, like, can't get any better than you that. Can't get no better than that. No, no, than that. no. So no, can no. You, at? Um, you can reach me at Pamper Kitty Waxing mm -hmm. um, on IG, and um, I always respond back. Okay. I would leave my phone number, but people sometimes play on my phone, yeah, and I don't know, know why. Why you gotta do that? Stop, stop playing the phone, y'all. Right. Stop, stop yeah. the phone. Again. That's why. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Anybody. So yeah, Pamper Kitty Waxing is the best. Okay. And I want to talk about your appointments real quick too. Can you tell the, our audience how your appointments go? So um, if you're a regular and such as yourself, you can book with me every Friday at every last Friday of the month at 7 p.m. Just text or DM. Um, and the way that I consider a person a regular is it's not how many times you come. It's more so do you show up? Mm. You know, do you respect my business? And if you can't make it, are you going to send me the amount of money for the service for not making it? Mm. So that's how I consider you to be um, a regular. Mm. And for other people, my books open um, the last Saturday of every month at 8 a.m. Uh, you don't yeah. have much time. I'm telling you. <laughs> Listen, it's an experience. You're going to love the results. Oh, it's, it's truly amazing. I'm happy with it. I'm one of the ones that it took me a long time to go into here. It took me a minute. I was doing the little strip <laughs> for a minute. <laughs> I was like, I just don't, I just don't, I just don't want, I feel like that's a child. I don't, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. So it took me a long time to actually get there. I'm probably one of the last ones, but it, she made the experience 
to where I felt like, like I said, it's really pretty. It, it's pretty, it looks good, it makes you feel good, and she makes the experience, she makes you feel um, comfortable, definitely. Um, she wants to hear what you have to say. She wants to hear how your day is going. Mm -hmm. She, her customer service is excellent, truly. Mm -hmm. So you, you have a, a short window, ladies. On the, the for new customers, on that last Saturday of the month, you go into her IG. You click on what is it? Intuity. Mm -hmm. Intuity. Yep. Click the link um, in the yes, bio. Click the link in the bio. Yep. You're, you're, I'm not kidding. Your time is limited, so you got to be on top of 8 a.m. on Saturdays. 8 a.m. Get in there. Get your appointment, hurry up, well, well, we, we and you're going to be so happy. You will be <laughs> so happy with the results. Who's your daddy's for her party? Be crazy. I'm for real. I'm for real. You know what I'm saying? By the way, that all be the show notes, guys. We'll have Instagram and also the link to, to schedule your appointment. Also. Yes, so, yes, 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 yes. It's summertime, ladies. Get those legs, those underarms. Yes. All of that. All yes. of that. <laughs> Thank you Thanks so much, so for, much me. for sitting with us. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. All right, guys. This is episode 55. Mr. Bills, real quick. Mr. Bills, I'm yes. sorry. We do have Mr. Bills. I am not good as an intro killer or whatnot, but in the spirit <laughs> of being here, I don't know the address, so get all in the key uh, for the address that I'm going to do the rest. Oh, don't forget to stop in to 2U1 two one two for wines. your favorite wine. The wines are That's amazing. Yes, they are. 14% alcohol, located at 4425 Mayfield man. Road in South Euclid. South Euclid and Green Patio is opening this yes. Saturday. I'm Ooh, super excited. We're going to have tapas. <laughs> Just a little something for you to menu up to to chew on <laughs> just a little something for you to nibble on is the word i was looking for yeah, um, while you're drinking your wine you know we always have the wine slushies the best in the, the city i'm the claiming city. that those are also 14 percent alcohol come chill with me come have a good time come listen to some music charcuterie wine just come chill whenever you like thursday friday saturday four to nine i think i'm gonna add sundays for brunch That's working right. on that um, we also need to thank Mikey for being here, Pamper, Pamper Kitty Waxing. Thank you for having me. And Marquita, speaking of her, Beneficial Bay. Beneficial Bay is Bay is not killer. here with us. <laughs> is not here with us today, but she has her own office space. Yes. Give her a call if you want to grow your business. She has all the organic information. Yes. You don't have to always have a bunch of money in order to grow your business and get Absolutely. new customers. She can show you organically how to grow your business. Um, and she also has what is it, Kiss? Yes, Kiss, yes, keep yes. it simple. Keep it simple. <laughs> she, she, so she keeps it simple, and, and anybody can learn how to grow your business. She has yes. great advice, and she is absolutely one of the best. That's what we cannot forget about Brandon, not your average <laughs> agent. He's selling those houses, you guys. He's making your dreams come true. He can get that credit together, all of that. Just go to Brandon. If he can't help you, he can put you in the right direction because guess what? He's part of the dream team. <laughs> We're talking about houses, commercial property, all of that. Wholesale, shout out working out. Shout out to Julius <laughs> and um, dream team. And, oh, definitely, definitely all occasions. All occasions. All yes. occasions. She yes. helps us out with all of our events. Absolutely. She beautifies everything and she, she actually uh -huh. actually builds everything herself. herself. She's amazing. Mm -hmm. All Occasions 216 on Instagram mm -hmm. yes. for your events to make it beautiful from the um, balloon from the balloons to the marquee. A little yeah. bit of all of that. And last but not least, Social Masters. Yeah. So we know we got to get rid of those. We, we, we coming of age, guys. We coming of age. We got to get, get rid of those cards. Of those cards. We want to put all your information in one place. All you got to do is tap your phone, QR code, information You're immediately. You're, You're done. done. You all your contacts, good. all your website, anything you want to have. Social Masters, thank you for sponsoring us yes. all in one space. Yes. And again, this is episode 55, Intro Killer. I tried to pay the bills for you. <laughs> we can't forget about Steve. Don't forget about Steve. Oh my gosh. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? You got my back? You got my yeah, back? I got, back. I got him. Back. I got him. Alien. Hey, I used, your, I used alien for the word on Wordle today. And it got me three letters. <laughs> I was thinking of you, Steve. Uh, we got alienized the photos. The, the man behind the the camera he's he's our production 
and he keeps us looking good on camera yes, for every episode. Yes, he Steve. makes those special occasions special for you. Yes. From weddings to um, bridal showers to baby showers to, you know, any birthdays, occasion. any occasion. He makes the occasion special for you. He gets all the, he captures the moments very well. Yes. Can't forget about Steve and where is Arlo. Yes. When you're looking for those pictures that are bogish and a little bit different from different angles, things that you would never awesome. think of, she definitely has it covered. Where's Ar Arlo? Where are you, Arlo? Where are you, Arlo? We miss you. <laughs> <laughs> and the pull-up team. Yes, everybody. You, you, you did good. You did good. You did good. Uh, you sure? No, you did good. I don't feel like No, no, you did. Hands down, hands down. You know what I'm saying? You might have some uh, outro killer, intro killer. Y'all doing y'all thing. You know what I'm saying? I try. I try. Episode so, so, 5, y'all. We thank y'all once again. Yes, we thank y'all for tuning in. We appreciate you guys for tuning in. Yes, and thank, thank you, Mike, for coming on. Thank you. We'll All see right, y'all next time, y'all. All right, y'all.